La última escala de nuestro viaje nos lleva a conocer un sueño ideado por Jax Fresco, ingeniero y diseñador industrial. Su creación se llama The Venus Project, que busca impulsar precisamente una sociedad global más equilibrada. Aquí, en el distrito norteamericano de Venus, este inventor ha construido los prototipos de lo que él imagina como el mundo del futuro. The main aims of the Venus Project is to bring all the nations of the world together and take care of the environment as well as one another. The end of the artificial boundaries that separate people and to declare all the Earth's resources as a common heritage of all the world's people. If you don't do that, there will always be territorial disputes and arguments. So I'm just giving you the answers to what you can do to make the world sustainable for everyone. The type of energy systems used in the future must be renewable and they cannot produce any damage to the environment. That would be geothermal energy, the natural heat of the earth, wind power, solar power, wave power, ocean power, in other words, thermal differences in the ocean, we can generate power. So there are many possible sources of power that are clean and renewable. I designed the Venus Project to attempt to build a world that's sustainable. And, and in it, we work with other nations until we learn their methods of thinking and make adjustments. All people need the same thing. They need clean air, clean water, nutritious food, and a relevant education. So they understand that systems arrive at direction. People don't have opinions about what direction to take, but they do studies. And according to the studies and the feedback from instrumentation, this determines how we govern the planet. You cannot govern the planet unless you have a resource survey and you have to know what the capacity is of a planet to support so many people. Then people have to be educated in the methods of determining how many people we wish to have on Earth. I don't mean to destroy people. I mean to manage population in relation to the Earth's resources. All the cities of the future will be based on circumferential design or circular design. The city will vary from 2,000 to a million people. Therefore, the architecture will change, but the circumferential design will always be included. My dream for the future is to put an end to war and to learn to live on Earth and to take care of the failing Earth conditions the dumping of garbage into the oceans and the rivers and pollution of the air. An end to that by all nations. Since there wouldn't be any separate nations, there wouldn't be any need for each nation to do their part. They act as one nation. What do we all need restoration of the ocean world? We all need clean air. We all need more arable land. We all need more nutritious foods. I feel that what we must do is learn how to cooperate with one another rather than compete with one another. <laughs>